There is rice in the fields and fish in the water. So the saying goes in bountiful Thailand, which has learned to appreciate its rich year-round harvests. But in these fields, you'll also find New Zealand kiwi fruit and peaches. Am I seeing things? Up in the northern hills of Thailand, in this district called Ang Khan, you'll stumble across some of the most unexpected fruits and vegetables. I'm standing in a field of strawberries, not generally a fruit known to be grown in Southeast Asia. Actually, this is one of the royal projects initiated by Thailand's King Pumipon. In this mountainous region where cool mists soften the tropical climate, hill tribe villagers have been given a chance to grow new export products rather than the traditional opium crops. The objective of the royal project is to help the hill tribe people to improve their living standard and to improve their cultivation technique. Different ambassadors to Thailand have suggested some of the exotic fruits and vegetables that are grown here, and the concept is taking off, literally. We are growing a lot of vegetables that haven't been produced here before, and Thai International in the the, the, the overseas lines, uh, they use a lot of uh, exotic vegetables for tropical countries. The poor yet charming villagers showed me the location for a hilltop resort, close to the Burmese border, where visitors can brush the early morning dew from the very vegetables they'll eat for dinner. So it's a beautiful area. The money's going to local people in the end to help develop sustainable um, lifestyles. But also it's really relaxing and really beautiful to be here. You can walk out from the resort and immediately you're in their vegetable gardens, which are actually growing the veggies that you eat that night. Travel here is regarded as a gentle journey. The days drift by and the scenery will fill a nature lover's itinerary to overflowing. I think that there's not always places in Thailand where you can just walk really quietly and um, appreciate the natural beauty around you, and this is definitely one of those places. There's not a temple in sight.